greetings from this guy who is here to share his knowledge with you and looking forward to learn from you too. So today, I'm going to show you how to send data from a contact page in Laravel to your preferred Gmail. And uh, at the end of this tutorial, we should have a form like this. We should have a form, not necessarily exactly as this one, but it should have the same functionality, whereby a user can provide the uh, name, email, subject, and message. And when they click on the submit button, we get a flashback message, message sent successfully. And when we check the email that we will have provided, we have that email, here it is. The subject is B, 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 B. Then we click on the, we, when, we, when we open the email, we have the name of the user, we have the email of the user, and the message. So we've grabbed all the data that we had provided, the name, we've grabbed it, the email, we've grabbed it, the subject, we've grabbed it, and the message, we've grabbed it. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the server that we were using to see that form. Then I'm going to go to a new fresh project that I created here. It is untouched. Now, in this new fresh project, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to the routes, routes folder, then web.php. Then I'm going to create a new route. I'm going to say route. Say route, then get request, because I want to get a form from the server. Let me terminate this first terminated then I'm going to say when a user goes to slash contact what do I want to happen I want a function to be executed and when that function is executed what do I want to happen I want to return a view return a view by the name contact page you can call this whatever you want contact page let me terminate this one too good so when a user goes to the uh, slash contact forward slash contact using get request i want the user to get the contact page view let me create that view i don't have that view so first thing i'll do i'll copy paste this i'll copy this not copy paste Control c then I'll go to views, resources, sorry, resources first, then views. Then inside the view, I'm going to create a file. Then I'll paste. I like pasting to avoid typos. Dot blade. Dot PHP. Now inside this contact page, and before I continue, let me make it clear that the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to send data from a contact page form to a Gmail. So there are some things that I'm not going to explain. Uh, let's continue. Now in this contact page, I want to have a form so that when I return uh, this page, this uh, view, it should have a form. Now I have a form here online. This is how it looks like. I have its HTML and it's CSS. So I'm going to grab, there's no, there's no JavaScript. So I'm going to grab the HTML first. So I'm going to click here on change view. Then I'm going to click on HTML. Then control A, control C to grab everything. Paste it here. And before I paste it, let me have a HTML document here. Now we have a full HTML document and in the body, that's where I want my form to be. There it is. Let's refresh and see if that is working. So we've said when you go to slash contact, 
we execute a function and that function is returning a view by the name contact page and that contact page is here and its content is this form. So let's see if that is working. Site can't be reached. Oh, we have not started the server. So we come here, we say php artisan server, start the server. And then the server is started, let's refresh and see. Yeah, it's working. But as you can see, ours doesn't look the same as theirs. And that is because we have not provided the CSS. So let's grab the CSS. Click here on CSS. Then grab everything. Control A, Control C. Now the styles are usually located in the public folder. So come to your public folder. Create a, another folder. It's not a must, but it's good. CSS. Enter. Then in the CSS, let's have our style styling file. File. Then call it whatever you want. I'll call it styles. Dot CSS. Enter. I'll paste my style. Then, now we have we have classes here like this one. How does this form access this? the classes from these styles. You have to provide a link. So you come here, you say link, link. Then what's the link? You come here and say asset. So the link is, uh, we have the styles in the public folder CSS folder, then styles.css. We don't have to say public folder. Laravel automatically knows when we are uh, looking for style sheets, it knows it will, it will try to look for them in the public folder. So we will just say CSS slash styles, styles uh, dot CSS. So let's see if that's working. Go back to the browser, refresh. Good, it's working. Now for us to be able to grab data from this form, we need to provide name attributes in that form. So let's go back to the form. And here we will see the name attribute. We will provide its key as name. I'll copy this. Paste it here. Then in the email input, I want to have the name attribute as email because I'm grabbing email. In the subject input, I want to have uh, the name attribute as subject since I'm grabbing subject. Then in the text area, I can see it's provided, so there's no need of writing it again. Now, when a user click on submit button, what action do you want to take place? We'll come here in the form tag and we'll say what action. So we want to send data to the server. So the action is we want to send data to the server to slash contact. slash contact I'm using a, an external keyboard that is not noisy that's why I'm slow I'm not used to it so please bear with me I don't want to use the laptop's keyboard uh, because I know that the noise is irritating to some people personally when I watch YouTube videos and the keyboard is there making noise I don't like it so please bear with me that's why I'm I'm typing slowly. Then what's the method? So since we are sending data to a server, we are not receiving. No, we don't need a comma here since it's an attribute. Since we are sending uh, 
method to a server. We are not receiving. When we are sending, we use the post method. So like here, we used a get method because we are receiving a form from the server, which is this contact page. But now we want to send data to a server. We use a post method. So let's create that route slash contact, then with the post method. I'll take this one, I'll copy this one. I'll paste it. Then the method has changed. It's a post. The route is the same. The function, we don't want to return. We don't want to, when somebody clicks on the submit button, we return a contact page view. That would be very confusing. Remove this one. So what do you want to say? We want to say request. Request, let's request those keys. Request. Terminate this one. So we want to request these keys. Let me show you. This name, email, subject, and message from the name attributes. So we come here, we say since now this is an array because you're requesting several things. So we are requesting name. The next thing was email. The next thing was subject. Subject. And the last thing was message. Message. Good. Now when you request it, let's have this in a variable, all of this in a variable. So I'll come here and say dollar sign. Let's call it data. Call it whatever you want. Then what do I do with this data when I request it? For now, I want to return it so that we can see if it's working. Return all the data that you'll collect. Terminate. Now let's see that. Let's see if that's working. Back to the browser. I'll refresh my page. I'll have here a, 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 anything. Submit. Please put a nut or there's no at here. Submit. Page expired. Oh, this is because we have not provided the CSRF in our form. In our form, just below the form tag, let's say at CSRF. Now, this, uh, this means cross-site request forgery, and it protects your form from cross-site request forgery. And the good thing with the Laravel is that if you don't provide it, your form will not work. You have to provide it. So let's see now if it will work. Of course, if you click refresh, it will not work because the page had already expired. So click back, you have to refresh. Now this is another page, let's do it. Let's try again. Now this is a new one, not try uh, expired. Let's have subject as anything. Uh, let me put BBBBB so that you can be able to see the difference. CCCCC, submit. Good, we have now the, we have been able to grab the data. We have the name, the key name and the value, email value, subject value, and it's an object. So up to this point, we have been able to request, to, re, to request, to grab the data from the form. Now, the next thing you're going to do is we want to send this data 
to our email. And we want also to style it so that it has a certain structure. We don't want an, our email to receive something like this, looking like this. We want our email to receive something structured like this with HTML. So that's what we are going to do next. And uh, before we do that, I want to state that uh, you can clearly see that I've not validated the inputs because the purpose of this tutorial is not that. So make sure you validate in your back end and in your front end. It's very important. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much.